this has to be the most camp and most random place I'm filming a video but this is the only place I could do it without any disturbance so yeah okay I have to do this quickly because um, my battery is kind of dying and yeah so I'm really doing this on the spot but I have my notes written down and this is about Addison's Ray new EP that dropped today and um, Naomi Cannibal already did a video about how Addison Ray could be the next pop star, pop girl, and how she could save mus pop music. And I'm doing this video just to confirm that Addison Ray is our next pop star. She's saving pop music. And I, oh, as I was uh, listening this morning, I just realized that the EP album ER is just Addison Ray, <laughs> unless it stands for something else. But yeah, but my first lesson was that it was it was really nice, it was good, it was, yeah, I liked it. I was kind of hoping for a longer EP. I think it would have been nice if she had added two more songs. I don't know, four songs was very, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only four songs. But four songs is not that much for an EP, I know. But yeah, I was expecting a bit more, uh, a longer EP. Uh, I was also hoping for a bit more pop so um i don't know like when i'm thinking of charlie xx it's like very like poof, poof, like a lot of bass and beats and like very loud but this ep made me it like it gave me this selena gomez like whisper queen sound which is it's, there's nothing wrong with that i enjoy both of them but when i look at addison i feel like she's very like i don't say like loud but like there's a like a very like nice loud sound that would suit her well but at the same time it's her first ep so i don't mind it she's really i feel like trying to find herself i'm not expecting any first like any starting artist to really have it all figured out but overall this is a really good foundation for her music career this ep was a very nice start if i want to say and also when I was listening it to it, I, you know, well, because this is an EP and not an album, so with EP, I feel like there's less of a pressure to have a whole concept or a well thought out idea of how you want your album to be. So with this EP, each song was really independent from each other. So there was no transition. I felt like every song had this, has had its own vibe and I, I didn't hate it. But I feel like for her next project, she could play more into that. I'm not like, just try to play with transitions, sorry, or um, have a, I don't want to say like a better idea, but if you have an overall theme or a concept and then have the different vibes, I don't know. But I'm also thinking that because this is her first EP and because every song is very i want to say like very different from each other very independent from each other this is her way to say i'm doing a little bit of everything i'm figuring it out which is okay i don't i didn't hate it i think with her next projects it would be more better oh by the way i'm wearing this t-shirt this is your sign from god that i'm hot this is very camp very addison ray charlie xx i, I love that i really do hmm. and also the songs are very simple and it's okay. I, I felt it was okay. It was not like lyrical genius, but you know, very simple. Um, I, 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 yeah, it's good when you're, I think it's okay, especially when you're starting out. Um, and there are a lot of artists that have simple lyrics or just the songs are very simple and they just work well. I'm not, not every artist has to be like a lyrical genius, um, but yeah, so, I had some predictions for her next project or just like for her overall career and I feel like she is more of an EP girl and not an album girl or she would have a short album if she wanted to do an album so I feel like her pro like a proper project for Addison Rae would be a 10-12 song project and because I think long albums not everyone can pull it off 
and also I think it's good for her especially when she's first starting so we get more of a vibe of what she's doing like creatively with her music I also think that I also wrote in my notes that she won't depend on she won't depend on features for her songs but then again I feel like pop artists don't really rely on features compared to other genres like I would say like um, rap or hip yeah hip hop rap R and B where there are more features but here are my potential features so obviously there was this track um to die for with Charlie XCX which is really nice it was a really nice incorporation and it was really smart for her because Charlie XCX is really well respected in the music industry and so the fact that they did a song together shows already like that there's potential for Addison Rae to do something great. I'm so sorry, I hate this fucking reflection. <laughs> I really do. Stop. And um, yeah, so that's really nice. And I feel like they're gonna do way more, like there are other collaborations they're going to do. So I'm excited for that. Uh, I also wrote Olivia Rodrigo because I think I'm also like I follow Addison Rae on Instagram and I think she posted a video a picture with Ad Oliver Rodrigo and it would work well when they were doing song about boys and like love troubles so that would work I put in question marks Rosalia because I don't know I think it would take a while for her to actually figure out her sound and then like work with Rosalia because I don't know I've been to Rosalia, I've been to Rosalia's concert and like her even her fan have their this own vibe that I really like and I feel like it's not everyone who could do a a feature with Rosalia. I also put um, in question marks Tate McRae. I don't know. I felt I, it, it was just like one name that popped out in my mind. I was like, they could, it could work well. Uh, Kim Petras also in question marks, but I think this would work better if it was a Charlie XCX song featuring Kim and Addison Rae. Yeah, that would work way better. And then as I was showering this morning, because you always get great ideas when you're in the shower, I had Lil Nas X and I Spice because I Spice this year has been, has had a wonderful like year. I think towards the end of the year or maybe or like next year there could be like a little fun thing between the two of them. And Lil Nas X, I was thinking I'm pretty much sure they are friends, but it would be more a Lil Nas X song featuring Addison Rae, where Addison's like more in the like in the chorus, just like being la 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 la, and then just Lil Nas X like two two two, you know. So that was really pretty much what I had in mind for potential collaborations. Yeah, I want to say this is my first video around like my in, like in my music and predicting music and my reactions. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah kind of. Um, but I grew up, I grew up doing music lessons and analyzing classical pieces which by the way classical music is the foundation to what we listen today and we really have to appreciate that so yeah because uh, I'm just saying that because some people think that classical music is boring but it's actually really not and yeah so I, I grew up doing um, musical analysis musical theory um, I've played instruments my entire childhood been in orchestra in an orchestra so I'm pretty much I, I kind of know stuff about music, right? Um, which made me think of when I was listening to Addison's EP, some of, and this is just like how, what, but like what I was thinking is that I, I felt like her, the beat or the rhythm didn't go through all the way or there was just some kind of weird shift in some, I think, in two of her songs, but, or like sometimes the vocal was just, I don't know, it was just, I'm, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, um, but I think I would have to listen to it again and again and again to see if I like like it or if it's actually something that's really bothering me. Because sometimes I listen to music and I'm just like, I could've, something could have changed or something, I don't know. But to be honest, it would be a dream for me to 
um, be an intern for an artist and just see how they're how they just come up with songs and lyrics and the beat and like the musical like sound engineering how it all works out and I know it's like a little like side note but there's certain artists like Pharrell or Kitranada that have I don't know it just I feel like the music process is really interesting and I would love to be behind the scenes to see how it works how it's all um, being made. I was also thinking of Drake because like he is special in his own way in a really good way and I would love as a Canadian to like see how how it's working out so yeah but the reason why I'm saying this is because Addison Rae is new and I would love to see what she's going to do with her next project because I really think that I really think that her next project is going to be the determining factor of whether or not she is an established artist or if she's a influencer tiktoker trying to become a singer and i know that right now it's a, like there's a lot of talk about oh tiktokers are becoming singers like we, we get it it's like boring just stick to one social media but I really do see the potential in Addison Rae and I'm really excited to see what's coming up next for her next project. It's, it's like it's a good EP and I really do think it's a nice foundation and I would just say like the next advice, if I could give an advice to Addison, it's really, I want to say like have fun with your music because when you see an artist having fun with their music and their the song as someone who's listening to the music, it just makes the whole experience is way better and more enjoyable so i would say go crazy not well go crazy go nuts have fun and that's why i really do think that a 10 a 10 or 12 song ep slash album would be really nice because you just get to get like you just have more room to experience so if two songs are like too crazy and people don't really like it then you have other songs but yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, I would you know what? Stream the stream the EP for good skin. Stream the EP for good taste. And I'm saying this, Addison Ray is saving pop music. We needed it. Yeah. So that's pretty much it and I hope you like the video. Bye.